Let's take a look at the pronunciation of German letters and numbers. I want to walk through the German alphabet and pronounce each of the letters individually. Many of the letters we will recognize from English, the English alphabet. Others are unique to the German alphabet alone. So we have A, B, C, D, A, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, V, X, Y, Z. Now, those are the ones that we're familiar with from the English alphabet. What we have remaining on the screen are characters, uh, vowel combinations, vowels that are unique to the German alphabet alone. S set is a combination of two consonants, an S and a Z. And the next three characters are not they're vowels that are unique to the German language. Uh, a lot of students think that, well, it's an A with two little dots over it. It's interchangeable with an A, which is wrong. It's a unique vowel and can potentially change the meaning of a word. So they're not interchangeable. Uh, the two little dots are actually shorthand for an E. So actually we have a, a two vowels that over time have merged into one vowel and with the effect that it uh, takes the sound sort of more from the back of your throat, moves up towards the front, rounds the lips a little bit, and uh, makes the, has, has, it gives the vowel a little bit of a more of a rounded sound. So, e, e, u. Now, the other ones in the uh, right-hand side of the column are common vowel consonant combinations that you'll find in German. Um, au, oi, ai, ai, oi, sh, and The last one is, I think, fairly difficult to describe. It's, uh, it's not one that we, I, I think, we have in English. It's sort of a sense of, uh, well, I always try to tell my students, it's sort of like two cats fighting. It's a sound. Um, yeah, so those are essentially all of the German letters, vowel combinations, vowels, ligatures that you will encounter. Let's move on to look at German numbers. So what we have is eins, zwei, Drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf, dreizehn, vierzehn, fünfzehn, sechzehn. So, what I want to do now is I'm going to put a pause in here because uh, sort of and to clarify we'll draw comparisons between the way Germans form letter uh, form numbers and the way uh, English speakers form numbers. Up to this point everything has been essentially the same. We have numbers 1 through 10 which are uh, formed essentially the same way as they are in English. Even the teens are formed the same way. So let's take a look at Number 16, for instance. Uh, Zechzein, take that word apart. We have Zex, which is 6, and Zein, which is 10, and which is be analogous to the English teen. So, and this continues on to the uh, numbers 17, 18, 19, 20. Zipzein, Achtzein, Neunzein, Zwanzig. 21, 22. 
So once I get up to 20, things start to look a little bit different in German. So let's look at a little bit closer at number 22. In English, we say 22. We start with the higher number, 20, and then tack on the lower number, 2. German does it the exact opposite. Zwei und zwanzig. Two and twenty. So once we get to twenty, and actually everything from twenty to ninety-nine, we're going to start with the lower number first, and then add the higher number. With the exception, of course, of the numbers that are divisible by ten. So let's take a look at those for a second. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So even the higher numbers, uh, they're divisible by 100, 200, 300. Those are essentially formed the same way that we do in English, 200, 300. Even the ones that are divisible by 1,000. Thousand, zwei thousand, essentially the same way. Thousand, two thousand, etc. Where the putting numbers together is slightly more difficult is if we have a number like two hundred and twenty-two. So let's take this one apart. Zweihundert, zweiundzwanzig. So in German we start with the the highest number. So, in this case, it's 200. 200. However, we got to remember our prior rule is any number that's between 20 and 99 is going to invert the order. So, what we do in German is we have 200, invert the order, 22. So essentially what we're saying is 200, 2, and 20. And that way, when we'd work our way up all the way from that number to 299. 299. So just for review really quickly, if uh, numbers 1 through 20 are what we would say formed normally, uh, that way we would, I mean, I mean normal, I mean the same way we would do it in English. However, once we get to numbers 21 through 99, the small number will come first. And this is true for any number uh, that uses hundreds or thousands. Uh, we start with the highest number, thousand, go down to the second highest number, hundreds, but once we get to the numbers that are, if it's between 21 and 99, the small number comes first.